In this video, we're going to take another look at pivot tables. This is actually just going to be an exploration of some of the value field settings that let you uh, display data in some more in some interesting ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove our territory long name from our pivot table from before and just look at sales overall for these different product lines. Now, what if I wanted to know what percent of sales came from motorcycles? Now, obviously, I could just calculate that out manually, but pivot tables can produce that information immediately for us. So for instance, if I right click and say summarize, uh, sorry, rather show value as percent of column total, I will get that information. Motorcycles represent a little over 11% and I can actually sort by this value as well. Oh, I see that classic cars represent almost 40%. Now you may say, well, I want to show both. I want to show the sales, but then I'll also show what percent of the total they represent. Well, I can add sales twice. And you can see that one of them is in this form, one of them is in percent. Now I'm going to undo that because our original sales were formatted very nicely as numbers, as, uh, as dollars. So I'm going to add sales again and make this one, the unformatted one, make that the percentages, percent of column total. That's a little cleaner looking, but you'll notice that the names of the ranges look a little strange. You see sum of sales, sum of sales too. That's not that great. So what we can do is we can right click and go to the value field settings and we can actually adjust what this will appear as. You can add a custom name. So I'm gonna add just a percent symbol right there and that will show what I need. Sum of sales, sales percent. There you go. So now we can see that um, we can see the percent of sales that come from each and we can see the total uh, sale value. So what I'm gonna do now is make a new little pivot down here because I like this one. And what I want to do now is take a look at the horizontal percentages. So to get an example of that, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to add in the territory, but I'm going to just use the short named for the names of the territories. And let's say I wanted to know what percent of classic car sales came from Japan. What I can do is I can present this as percent of row total. And then we can see about a little over 4%, almost 6% of classic car sales come from Japan. 7% uh, of plane sales uh, come from Japan. Now you might think, oh, I'll just sort this now. I want to see what sales come from Japan. But actually, under the hood, it's still sorting it based on the non-calculated version. Just to show you what I mean, keep an eye on this rank over here. We got classic cars, planes, trucks, and buses. If I right click and I say show value with no calculation, the order of this does not change. But you can see that this is in fact sorted from greatest to smallest. So just keep that in mind when you use this percent of uh, percent of row, let's say, you can't actually sort on that variable easily. Um, you know, uh, basically that, that is actually gonna, just gonna sort the non-calculated version. Anyway, these features are very useful and just super handy. The other thing to keep in mind is, let's say for instance, I wanted to have um, more, uh, very, more, more information here about the sales. What if I wanted to know the average sale? What if I wanted to know the max sale? I'm just gonna add sale a few more times here. I'm going to add sale one more time here, stick it there. And let's say I wanted to have the max sale, I wanted to, what was the biggest sale? So I can go here and I can go to value field setting and I have a lot of options here. I can do the count, I can do the average, I can do the max, the min. So I'm going to do max. So now we can see the largest sale. I'm going to go here again, value field settings. I'm going to set this up real quick to be a currency like we did in the previous, uh, one of the previous videos. And you can see, uh, I'm gonna also set this to just be max of sales. We don't need a two there. There you go. So we can see even though classic cars represent the majority of the sales, uh, one of the bigger ones actually is vintage cars and another one of the bigger ones is planes. Those are large sales, but they are some, there's fewer of them overall, I suppose. Uh, we can also get the number of sales. We can just click over here and add uh, the number and you can see it's, it's still sum, but I can go right click on this, value field settings, and just do count, and then I'll just show count of sales. No need for the two. We can see there's a lot more classic car sales, a lot fewer train sales. Uh, this makes sense, remember to always think about this. This makes sense because it's counting the number of rows that are in each of these that, that are for each of these uh, product lines. Uh, if, if we're talking about the quantity ordered, 
in each of the rows, we'd have to sum the quantity ordered in the pivot table. Just to show you what I mean, we'd have to go to quantity ordered, put that over here, and show the sum of that. So these are the actual number of items ordered, but this is the number of actual sales made, if that makes any sense. So there's many, in other words, there's many items ordered per sale. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that for the moment to keep it looking cleaner. And that just gives you a really good sense of all the different things you can do in pivot tables. Just think about the questions you could answer in, in a few moments just by knowing that information. It actually saves you a lot of steps, prevents you from having to do a lot of manual calculations. Uh, to just keep all the calculations within the pivot table, let the pivot table do the work. Uh, thanks for joining us for this video. I encourage you to explore some of these options. You can explore a lot of them in the value field settings. You can do show as and you can see a lot of them over here. Um, and definitely in the comments, let me know if you have any questions or if uh, any interesting points about this topic. And uh, definitely check out other videos in our series. Uh, thanks for joining us.